like your kind of doll better. I think she's cute, too. Tell me I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Mother! Where? Where? Now, that's what I call bad casting. Your mother as a doll. Mother, what are you doing in Rome? What are you doing in Rome? I thought you were staying at Pisa. Well, we are. We have a lovely villa. But Darren had a business appointment this afternoon, so we thought we'd do a little sightseeing. Oh. And what's more important, who's home minding the children? Esmeralda is covering for me, and Tabitha wanted spaghetti for lunch. Well, why didn't you go to the market like anybody else? I'm not like anybody else. Nor are my grandchildren. When they want Italian spaghetti, they get Italian spaghetti. But, Mother, you promised. Speaking of promises, I almost forgot. I, I made a promise to the children that I would kiss their mama and their papa for them. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, half a promise is better than none. I appreciate that, Andorra. I have a business luncheon and I don't want to lose my appetite. <laughs> I better get going. See you back at the villa, honey. Ciao. And it's always a pleasure to say goodbye to you, Andorra. <laughs> oh, my, what big eyes he has. <laughs> Mother, what's the real reason you're in Rome? That's the reason. A mortal creature like Durwood, transplanted from his quarter acre of suburban crabgrass to this romantic Roman <laughs> carnival, can go bananas. <laughs> and I don't want my little girl to get hurt. Oh, well, I appreciate the concern, Mamma Mia. It's been nice chatting with you. But we're having guests for the weekend, so I have to do the marketing. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. You poor, trusting child. When will you ever learn that Mother knows best? <laughs> and what Mother knows best is how to prove she's right. <laughs> Take thy marble heart from thee and turn it into flame and fire to light a mortal man's desire. It feels so good. You'll feel even better when you're properly dressed. <laughs> What is this I'm wearing? <laughs> a woman's greatest weapon. A clinging dress. <laughs> you look stunning in it. Oh, I know, I know. But how did you do it and why? Well, how? It's just a little parlor trick. <laughs> why? I'll tell you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> oh, half a moment, dear. Now, you won't be missed for hours. Come along, dear. <laughs>